wrong way around, but how <laughs> cute. Flutters is what everyone calls, and my nipples have gone so dark. This might be TMI, but I'm gonna let you know because this is real. Just to prove that you're like well fit enough to fly. So I've had to, um, hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. This is actually gonna be the second trimester vlog slash video. So if you're interested, let's get on with it. So it's currently the 27th of December and I'm officially in the second trimester of my pregnancy and it's honestly crazy. I just filmed the outro to my first trimester vlog and I thought I'll start this second trimester vlog already. Um, last week we went for our obviously 12 week scan and the um, dated us at 13 weeks. So now this week I'm 14 weeks pregnant. Um, which is funny because obviously I was going off every Sunday, I was like an extra week, but now it's every Tuesday I'm an extra week. So it's just funny. Um, obviously that's changed and it's just taken a little bit of getting used to. The baby this week is the size of a hamster and the size of an avocado and the size of what sweet was it? I can't remember. I can't remember, but basically the size of a hamster, the size of an avocado, and I can't remember the other thing it was the size of. Um, but in that sort of few weeks, I'd, well, maybe in the last week I'd even say, I do feel like I've um, got a little bit of a bump going on. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited about that. I want to be able to be like, show the bump and everything like that. I'm thinking, did I show our first three outfits that I bought, or did I not? So... I can't remember, but I'm gonna go and get the first three outfits that were bought, and I'm also, actually don't think I did. So yeah, I'll go and show you what we bought, the first three outfits, and then I'm also gonna show you some bits that were actually got for Christmas for the baby. So I'll run and get those now, and I'm gonna show you. Give me two seconds. Obviously, I'm saying give me two seconds, I'm gonna run upstairs, and it's gonna be like one second for you. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get them. I just, double checked what the um other thing that the size of the baby was and it's an ice lolly so a hamster an avocado and an ice lolly is the current size so i've got the bits that were bought mamas and papas so i'll show you what me and jake picked the other day honestly so cute we ended up getting three things so we've got this little baby grow <sighs> honestly so cute and it has, if you can see, little clouds on it. It's honestly so soft, it feels amazing. And then it actually came with a little hat as well. So I picked that one. And then Jake picked this. So it's like a little set. Wrong way around, but how <laughs> cute. So it's like a little... Um, set like this like little legging kind of things and then a little baby grow and it says um I'll show you welcome to the world it says and on the trousers it is little clouds it's really funny because when we went shopping I've got to be honest it's so hard to find like um neutral clothing like not for girl and not for a boy but I felt like the clouds are very neutral whereas for example, I think if something like a baby grow has like a giraffe on, I don't know why, but in my head it feels more for a boy. And I, I could be wrong and I don't know, but it just feels a bit more like boyish. I don't know, but I just wanted like plain things. Um, so then we've got another little one and this is actually just a little plain baby grow. And it's actually like a zip one. So you literally just zip it up and down. So I thought that was honestly so 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 cute and like when i'm holding this like this i'm like this feels so real um but they were all from mamas and papas what were picked up and it was so nice choosing our like first three outfits together it was just so special um if i'm being completely honest i don't really feel like the lady at mamas and papas was extra nice i feel like because i work in customer service excuse me I feel like my customer service is honestly so nice and if anyone ever thought I was like not giving the best service, I'd want them to tell me because I honestly do give, like I'm so nice to people, I don't know. But like they asked if it was for us, the lady asked us, asked like is this for yourselves and I said oh yeah it is and she was like well when's your due date and she wasn't like, she didn't say congratulations, it was just so weird. 
Um, whereas I thought it would, maybe because I had high expectations in my head for that sort of first time of buying things to be like extra special. It was the fact that we picked them, but I don't really feel like the service was anything extra special, if I'm honest. But anyway, I got over it because the clothes are really cute and I really like them. And then obviously, so that was like a few days before Christmas. And then for Christmas, I knew that my mum and dad had already bought us some presents. So I'm going to show you what they got us. My mum and dad got us this little toy. And it is honestly so cute. I was sat on Christmas morning like, shh, 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 shh. I'm crazy, but it's just so cute. And I did read a thing on TikTok, I think it was the internet or TikTok, I can't remember, where you meant to sleep with like one of their, your baby's things a few weeks before so they get the smell and then you can pop it in there, um, like next to me or something with them. So it's like a comfort thing. So maybe I'll have to sleep with this for a few weeks before um, the baby comes. And also, I didn't say this, but obviously when I'm saying about the like neutral clothing, that's because me and Jake, who is my husband, we're not finding out what we're gonna have, we're gonna keep it a surprise. Hence why we need neutral things. And obviously hence the white little teddy. But I love that. I think it's so cute. I'm actually obsessed with it. So that's off my mum and dad for Christmas. And they also got us a white company baby dressing gown. And it looks big on there compared to me, but it's absolutely tiny. It's, I think this is like naught, yeah, naught to six months. It's so cute and it's so soft. So they got us those two bits for Christmas and honestly, I was just so excited because it's just, it's so nice to like get things for the baby. And I'm actually looking, we've got like three bags already of baby things and I'm like, wow, this baby is gonna be so spoiled. And then Jake's mum and dad got us a baby grow as well for next Christmas. And it says my first Christmas on the front. It is so cute. This is actually from Next and it's just the cutest. And it's, I think, what size is this? I can't remember what she said she got. Um, I don't actually know the size. It doesn't, oh there, I should say on the tag inside. Um, oh yeah, six to nine months because next Christmas we'll have a six month year old. Oh, isn't that mad? But yeah, so I'm gonna put that away with like, obviously all the new, well, Jake's mum said, put it away with all your Christmas stuff. So I could, but I might just put it away with all the baby stuff, I don't know. Um, so that was off Jake's parents. And then we got my friend Lucy and her boyfriend went out for food with them the other night. And this was so cute. So they actually got us a present and it was more for like me and obviously the baby, but it's a baby memory book with on the front it says, your your story so i'd actually seen these and i was gonna buy one and it's just got things in like um you can put the family tree you can put like about the mum, about the dad and on the day you were born like the weight the story of your birth it's really really cute and i can't wait to fill that all out and i just thought that was so so sentimental because i obviously can fill that out and i remember reading my baby book that my mum filled in like she's still got it i know she has um, i should actually read that i'll get it i get it out actually because that's i probably want to read it so that's really cute because i can fill all of that in and then the baby when they're older can read it and then they also got me some of the little My Little Coco products, which is like a bump butter and a bump sheet mask. So, so looking forward to using them. And I just thought it was really, really thoughtful because it's like my friend got me more things like me. So I thought it was really, really lovely. And then on Christmas Day, I also got this off our, well, Jake's sister and her husband. So it's another little baby grow from Mamas and Papas. And she said, Jake's sister said she got it in at um, three to six months so that it's going to be perfect for like winter months. So cute with the little ears. Honestly, this is all just like the cutest ever. It hasn't got little feet in either so it won't get too hot. But yeah, that as well. And then last but not least, today got a delivery and this was from our family friends. This is also so cute and it's a little machino baby grow with little hearts on and little like toy teddies oh honestly and this is in the size I can't remember what it's 
said. Oh yeah, three to six months. And I just thought that is honestly so cute. I've been carrying this around the house today like this. So cute with the baby. Um, so yes, that is just adorable. And honestly, I feel like the baby's already so, 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 so spoiled, but like it's only gonna get more spoiled because I've ordered something today off um, online, say offline, online, another baby grow to come, which I've seen and really wanted. Um, and I think now it's just like exciting to start buying things because, you know, it's the time too. Um, but yeah, so that's all the, like, the bits we've got so far. And obviously I will keep updating the more I get. Um, but currently in terms of like how I've been feeling, that was probably a lot of people's questions when I've been telling them that I'm pregnant. It was like, how are you feeling? And honestly, I can hand on heart say I've been absolutely like fine, apart from a little bit hormonal. Jake and my parents will absolutely vouch for that. And quite tired, that was one symptom that really hasn't gone. I've just been so, so, so tired like the whole time. Um, but hopefully in the second trimester, people say that the tiredness eases off a little bit and then in the third trimester, it comes back. So I will keep doing up, uh, weekly updates and things so that I can obviously share how I'm feeling. Um, but right now it's just so exciting because it does feel extremely real and, you know, it is real, it's exciting, it's happening. Um, so yeah very exciting and I don't know where I'm going to put all the baby stuff because I want to keep it all really lovely um and I think the plan in terms of like the nursery and stuff I've had a little look on Pinterest already at some ideas but I was kind of just waiting until like 12 weeks just obviously to make sure everything was good um but basically the makeup room that I currently have in the house is now going well is going to be the nursery so the plan is going to be probably once we get back from our holidays in February because we're going like January to the, like the middle of Feb. Um, I'll probably start and like get like plan and yeah. I mean, again, we've got a holiday in March as well. So maybe after that, we'll get all planned and prepped. And I'm not too stressed about the nursery because I know the baby sleeps with you for like six months anyway in your room. So I don't feel too stressed about that. Um, but I do want to start and get things sorted and just like even have ideas. So yes, it's all exciting. But this is obviously just how I'm... I am and what's been going on in the last sort of week, which has been Christmas, obviously. Um, and my Christmas tree is still up, but when you're watching this, it's gonna be like January, February, so people are gonna be like, hmm. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep updating how I go in the second trimester, but for now, I'm gonna leave it here. I just also forgot one thing to show you. So my sister-in-law had me in the family secret Santa and she got me the cutest presents and the pregnancy related. So I'm just gonna quickly show you. She got me this HA Designs Nighty. It's like a pink one and it says on the front, mummy. And I just, I just honestly thought that was just like so cute. I actually seen cause she went away for the night a few weeks ago and she had one and I was like, it's so cute. And obviously she'd got me one as well. Cause she said to me, um, like weeks ago, what are you going to be? Are you going to be like mom or mum, mom or mum? And I was like, oh, mum. And then like mummy. So then obviously she'd asked me that so she could get that, I think, um, but so cute. And she also got me some maternity leggings, which are gorgeous. They're just like really thick. And they've got obviously like the bit for your bump here. I'm not actually sure where they're from because it doesn't really say, but it does say LL, so love leggings. So I'm not sure whether she got them um, online, but they're so soft inside. They're gonna come in so handy. And then she also got me this bump, bump butter. So it's a tummy rub butter, Mama Mio. I'd actually seen this on um, Amazon and I've seen she'd had this but I have just been using bio oil um for the last sort of we say for the last five six weeks I have really just every night used bio oil um and sometimes on a morning as well but I'm excited because I might use that one on a morning and then bio oil on a night I need to read the instructions and stuff but yeah I just thought that was so nice and obviously it is pregnancy related and it's funny because I'm currently about to film of what I got for Christmas but obviously because I'm not putting the pregnancy announcement up just yet I can't put them in my video but I just thought I wanted to mention them because they're so so lovely and just really thoughtful I also was just thinking there about the nightly I can take that into hospital for when I'm when I'm giving birth maybe for after because actually I don't want to get like any blood on it 
or anything weird on it, but maybe for after once I've given birth. But yeah, I just thought it was really special, so I wanted to mention that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my second trimester vlog. I feel like it's been a few days since I've, ac well, actually I say days, it's been a few weeks really since I've even probably spoken to the vlog. Um, and today marks 16 weeks of my pregnancy, which is honestly crazy because that also symbolizes four months, I was gonna say six months, honestly, the brain. The baby brain is such a real thing. Um, you can probably tell I sound a little bit like I have a cold, which I think I have picked up. Like the la like yesterday I woke up and I felt fluey and then today um, I feel quite fluey, but it's okay, I'm gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, so 16 weeks today, which marks four months, and it's just crazy. Um, the time's going really, really quick, if I'm honest, and haven't had any major changes in symptoms or anything like that in the last couple of weeks. I definitely think I'm growing, because like, for example, these jeans I have on definitely were like looser a few weeks ago, um, as opposed to today, they're a little bit tight. I will do a bump update, but I did just wanna come on and just sort of say where I'm at and how sort of far I am and everything. Um, Apart from that, like, not much has really changed in the last couple of weeks. Um, 16 weeks does feel crazy. Um, these last few weeks have gone quick. Um, I think that's because it's, like, January, like, Christmas, and I've been back to work. And more people know now. I've told quite a few people at work. Um, I still haven't put it on, like, YouTube or um, on my Instagram or anything, because we're going to do that when we get to the Maldives. And hopefully I have a bigger bump then so it's more obvious but yes that is the current update I will obviously keep updating this vlog and it's weird because I don't know when this is gonna go out it'll obviously go out at the end of the second trimester but it won't be for quite a few more weeks really um, but that's okay I suppose um, but anyway that is the update 16 weeks feeling great and yeah apart from I have had a few more breakouts I'd say um, haven't really been craving the salt and vinegar as much. I've still had a few packets of crisps and um, salt and vinegar, but I haven't really craved them as much. That was probably just in the first trimester, I'd say. But yeah, all good, feeling good. Hi everyone, welcome back to my second trimester vlog. Today I'm going for my 16 week appointment, but I'm technically 17 weeks today. Um, actually it was yesterday, so like 17 weeks yesterday. But you get to hear the heartbeat, so Jake's coming. We're just going to the midwife, which is at our local doctor's. Then I'm getting my hair done, which is non-pregnancy related, but I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling really good. I feel like the past sort of five or six nights, I've started to feel like flutters is what everyone calls it. But then I'm like, is it just like gas and my tummy rumbling? So I'm not, I can't be sure, but I think that's what everyone kind of says. Like, you're not 100% if it is that, but it is. Um, so that's so exciting felt little movements. So excited to hear the heartbeat. I'll obviously take the vlog and so you can see slash hear. Um, but yes, I can't wait. Um, very excited. So that is the update. Feeling good. Next week, we're going on holiday to the Maldives, which will be out before you've seen this vlog anyway. And that's when we're gonna put it on like my YouTube channel and like my Instagram. Um, so I can then vlog about being pregnant in current time because I haven't been able to do that. So anyway, I'm quite out of breath because I've just been rushing around getting some snacks for the hairdressers because I don't want to be hungry. But yeah, we're going off to our 16 week appointment but at 17 weeks so I will take you along. Oh and also I forgot to say, next week we'll also have our 20 week appointment which you can have between 18 and 20 weeks and because we're going to the Maldives when it'll be the 20 week, we're having it a little bit early. So we're having it at 18 weeks. So that's actually next Wednesday. So then we'll see the baby again, get a proper scan. So it's all coming very fast, but exciting. So exciting. So I've just had my midwife appointment, which was amazing i'll insert a little video now of the heartbeat because she did a little um listen for me she said that actually 
that like trust that I'm through, like going through, don't actually normally listen until 24 weeks, but she was like, I'll listen for you. And she was like, don't worry if you can't hear the heartbeat straight away, it'll take a while to find because the baby's so buried in your pelvis still. Oh, and then she found it and it was just honestly so cute. It was, I didn't cry, I felt like so happy, like it was weird. Um, but it was just a really quick checkup just to kind of make sure everything was good with me and I'm feeling good. Um, so yeah, that was so good. I just feels mad um so glad we got to hear the heartbeat though um the baby's heart rate was 145 so yeah baby is all good in there and she did ask me if i'd felt the baby which i did just explain the flutters i had and she was like yeah it will definitely have been so yeah all exciting and all good um, the next update will probably be next week when I go for it's called the anomaly scan which is like your 20 week scan but like I explained earlier it'll be earlier at 18 weeks thought I would do a little bump update so I'm currently 17 weeks it's Sunday so on Tuesday I'll be 18 weeks we're growing we are growing Good morning everyone and welcome back to my second trimester vlog and welcome to 20 week scan day but at 18 weeks because like I did explain you can have your 20 week scan between 18 and 20 weeks and I was literally 18 weeks a few days ago and obviously we're going away in a few days when it would be my 20 week scan will be away so we're having it early Um, I'm currently in the car trying my best to drink oh the cup holders came out but a lot of water because I want to get a clear scan because I didn't really feel like my last scan was that clear but obviously it could have been a lot of things but i read that if you drink a lot of water it makes it very clear so i'm excited to actually see the baby again i feel like in the last few days i've definitely grown and um, my tummy is growing and i'm happy about it i'm excited i want to have a big bump so yes all good got my maternity records which you have to bring every scan she said last time i'm um, actually nearly forgotten and it just came into my mind this morning so yes off we go for our it's called the anomaly scan so i'll call it that um and i will update you when we come out obviously our hospital doesn't let you film when you're in there i didn't ask last time but my sister-in-law said they don't so i'll probably not be able to film and this is actually the scan where you can find out the gender but we're not finding out which i think i did explain but we're not going to find out we're having a surprise so yeah off we go and let's go see the baby So we've been for our scan and all was good and um, we actually have a full <laughs> like long trailer photographs which is so nice. The baby was classed as breech at the minute because um, the baby's head was up and um, so it was just that's just one thing from the scan and um, which doesn't matter because that changes obviously they're going to move around so much and um, and then there was like a a mid a son sorry a sonographer and then like a trainee but she's not a trainee she's qualified but just needs to make her hours up i think and um, so she actually did it so it was really thorough so we got to see the baby for ages we were in there like 50 minutes so it was so good and um, my favorite picture is this little one here because i feel like the baby's actually doing a little pout very 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 cute um but yeah Obviously we didn't find out, but I feel like since we've came away, I feel a little bit more tempted to find out. I don't know, it's so weird. Um, obviously the mid, the both, I keep saying midwife, but the both said to us, they were like, do you want to find out? And I said, no. Um, and then at the end though, one of them did say, she was like, oh, cause we said, I said we didn't have any boys names, just got girls names. And she was like, oh, we'll make sure you think of a boy's name. And I thought, does that mean we're having a boy? But Jake thinks I'm just reading into it and she was just making conversation. But I guess you read into everything they say because obviously they're the experts and they've just seen what we're having. So very exciting. Um, they checked like the heart, the legs, the hands, the brain, everything. So it was very in depth. Um, like I say, I'm 18 weeks and how they describe it is 18 weeks and two days. But I just keep going off weeks because I think the whole two day thing, I'm just like, oh, I'll just drop that. I just keep going on weeks. Um, but yeah, 18 weeks and see now little baby boo, little baby bell. Very, very cute. 
but yeah it was gorgeous and just really nice to see but i now need to go to work because it's time to go they give me this as well so it's for you when the baby comes and um that's you need to have that so yeah i've got all the goods i'm excited to meet our little baby but that's a while off so i'm just gonna enjoy the pregnancy and keep because i have felt movements like i've explained in this video i have felt movements and it's crazy because now today once we've seen the scan i know where the baby is the head's on the right side and the limbs are on the left so yeah all good but i'll update you in the next sort of with any updates i suppose um i'll update you when i'm halfway as well which is in two weeks time um hopefully have a tan because we'll have been on holiday and really exciting because next week i'm actually going to post it on my instagram and my youtube channel um and let everyone know we are having a baby when we're on holiday we're going to do it so yeah very exciting and what a good start to the day so let's go to work with my little baby i'll do a bump update as well but i've definitely grown in the last week i would say for sure so yeah very exciting hi everyone welcome back to my second trimester vlog and i thought i would do a little update because i'm currently in week 19 of my pregnancy and as you can tell i'm not at home i'm in the maldives on our honeymoon with my husband jake um and i thought i literally haven't really updated this second trimester in vlog in like such a while so i thought it's a perfect opportunity so Week 19, obviously, the last few weeks, I've really started to feel movement um, from the baby. And crazy because it's like the same sort of times of the day, like if, if I've just eaten and then on a night, the baby is just going crazy, which is so lovely and so reassuring. Um, obviously, when we've been in the Maldives, we'll put it on um, like instagram facebook and obviously youtube that we we're having a baby and honestly the comments have just been so nice like i wasn't like not that i wasn't expecting it but i just didn't really think people would i don't know like care i suppose it's weird i don't know um but people have been just so lovely and it's just the best that everyone now knows obviously pretty much like everyone like people did know anyway if that makes sense but it's just like putting it on your social media it's like this thing isn't it within our generation also my battery is just about to die so let me change that before i give you more of an update that is so annoying quickly plait my hair too because it looks weird okay please ignore my hair it's like beachy hair vibes um so Yes, week 19 has been so lovely though, obviously, so we did announce it in the week, like week 19, and I say announce, it just sounds crazy, but like put it on Instagram, put it on Facebook, put it on YouTube. Um, and then last night was the most special because I've been saying to Jake for weeks about feeling the movement and I've really just felt it from like inside, but then I have put my hands on my tummy and thought maybe it is from outside, but I don't know, maybe I just wanted to believe it was from the outside, I could feel it as well because it was more just internal and then last night when I was lying in bed I was just like lying on my phone and then I was like I'm gonna put my phone down and really concentrate on what's happening in my tummy and then so I did and I got like a really like I felt it the baby it I felt the baby massively from like outside and I was like Jake 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 put your hand there quick I've just felt it like from the outside but it was like one sharp movement just kind of felt like I can't even really describe what it felt like but um and then Jake put his hand there and two seconds later it happened again and it was so nice because I've been saying to Jake for weeks about feeling it and he's like I can't feel anything he's like no no nothing and I was like desperate for him to so obviously he felt something last night which was just so nice um so yeah that is the current update just a lot of movement I'm not sure the baby likes the sun because on the first couple of days I really felt it moving and I was thinking you don't like the sun it was maybe it's a bit hot in there um but yeah all good I'm I've got to be honest the only thing I would say about being away is I feel like I've burned a lot easier than usual but it also be, could be a few reasons because normally I know it's bad but I would have a few sunbeds before going on holiday obviously I haven't been able to do that with being pregnant so I do normally have a base and then I don't burn as much 
Um, so it could be that. It also could be that my skin is, skin is just a lot more sensitive. It could also just be that it's really hot here. It's like 30 degrees. Even though I'm wearing SPF 50, so like factor 50, I still have burned. So it could be that I'm sweating a lot and the cream's coming off. It could be a lot of factors, but obviously I think your skin is a little bit more sensitive and prone to sensitivity and stuff because you're pregnant. So I don't know. Um... But I'm also going to start reading, literally, I'm going to go outside now. And I'm going to start reading my hypnobirthing book. So I'm going to see what this is all about. My sister-in-law read this and said it was brilliant. So it's hypnobirthing, practical ways to make your birth better. So I'm going to give that a little read. I read a book in like two days on already on this holiday but I'm not sure this will be quite as gripping but I'm going to try my best to like really read it and get some little tips and stuff because why not the more I can research I can do the better I suppose um but yeah that is the current update feeling good obviously probably won't update much more because I'm just you know this is week 19 but I tell you what is a really funny thing which you'll know if you've you know about pregnancy etc next week which is week 20 will mark halfway i'm like how has that even happened like halfway through the pregnancy i do think the first half probably goes a lot quicker because you're 12 you're waiting for your 12 weeks then you've got all your scans well all your scans both of your scans you've got your 12 and your eight um your 20 week which i've had i did update you obviously on that yeah i've had my um 20 week one at 18 weeks so then I think the next half probably will go a lot slower, but I'm just going to try and embrace it all and enjoy every second because I've actually so far loved being pregnant, like the nicest feeling. I'm just looking because it looks like there's something in the sea, but I think it's just stones, but it looks weird. Yeah, I think it's just rocks because the tide's gone out. Anyway, um, that is the current update. Week 19, feeling good. Going to start my book feeling them all the movements rubbing my tummy quite a lot which probably is quite annoying for people like thinking what is she rubbing her tummy for nah I don't know people probably just think I'm crazy but I do really like to keep rubbing it and one thing as well I keep saying one thing another thing um I've never felt more like confident in my body on a holiday than I have on this one and I think it is because like you know you're growing your baby like I don't know it feels good I, I, it's nice not to have to breathe in on every photograph it's like you can just relax and just let it all hang out and have your bump kicking around. Um, I will do an, a bump update and put that in this video as well so you can see how the bump is looking. Um, and you can see the way I'm sat. Oh, actually, kind of. But yeah, little baby in there. What will you be? Oh, I'll tell you something else. I had, I have been having a lot of boy dreams and the only dreams relating to pregnancy is that I've had a baby boy in the dreams, which has obviously got me confidence that we're having a boy. Um, but the other night, me and Jake were discussing baby names, and then that night I dreamt that I had a little girl and she looked like Jake with dark hair. So, I don't know. It confused me even more, but I still do think boy, but I don't know. Have a guess. Guess in the comments what you think I'm having, because I don't know, and I'm not finding out. I say I'm not finding out, we're not finding out, so yeah. We'll have to wait until the baby's here, until we know. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Hi everyone, welcome back to my second trimester vlog. I haven't actually been vlogging that much recently in the last few weeks, so I thought I would just quickly pick it up and I was gonna do a bump update and I thought I would just mention a few products that I've been loving and I'm wondering, have I put these in already? So if I have, I'll just cut this out. Um, but if I haven't, then. I just wanted to show so i've been loving bio oil on an evening which i got this like at maybe at like week 10 i think um and i've obviously used quite a bit just got it off amazon i think it was like i don't even know how much it was maybe like 20 pounds for like a 200 mil and i literally just put that all over my tummy and like on my boobs and stuff and down the side of my legs um on a night time before bed and let that i go to bed with that on so I've been loving bio oil. This is like stretch mark vibes. Obviously, I'm not sure if it even works. Um, so far, touch wood, there's been no extra stretch marks. I do already have stretch marks on my legs just off like over the years. Um, but yeah, 
it just feels nice going to bed in it as well because you feel so like moisturized and very hydrated so it's lovely and then my sister-in-law got me this one um the mama mio tummy rub butter and this is what i've been using like on a daytime because obviously the bio oil does take a little bit longer to sink in and i don't really mind that going on my jammers but on my like clothes and stuff for work i don't really want that so i've just been using this which is like a um tummy rub and i've been putting that in the same places and i've been absolutely loving that as well i've kind of not used loads of that actually that goes a long way um so i've been loving those two and then i totally forgot my friend lucy actually got me a bump sheet mask which i actually was going to take on holiday but i didn't and a bump butter so i thought i'll use them next and try them i haven't tried them yet but they smell amazing the um the moisturizer smells gorgeous um but they're the two i've been loving so buy oil on night time and then the mama mio in the day and i am going to put some clothes on and do a little bump update because i feel like in the last few weeks i've really grown um which is so exciting because i was obviously when we went on holiday i think that was at the point where i was like whoa i've popped and that was at like 18 weeks well 19 weeks actually sorry the camera just went off um because the memory card was full but i feel like i got on the plane to go to the maldives and i just like popped all of a sudden and I loved it. Obviously, then when I got home, I think the all of the holiday eating must have caught up. And I've just since grown, but like, it's crazy. I was um, in the nail shop earlier talking to like my friend about how I think I'm having a boy. Um, and then these two women were like, oh, no, because I said I hadn't like, be I asked, oh, excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but have you had any morning sickness and stuff? And I was like, oh, no, I've not. Um, and she's like, oh, well, I had a um, really bad morning sickness, sickness when I had a boy. And I was like, it's so nice that people like chat and I love it. But like, not one person's going to be the same. Like, I could be having a girl and have had no morning sickness. I could be having a boy and had no morning sickness. I don't think there's any correlation. I think it's just people like to tell you their own opinions. They were lovely, like so lovely. Um, and that they're not the only people who have said that. Like so many people say things and you just think, yeah, but like that's your experience. Um... Because I know someone who was saying the other day she had two boys and one had really bad morning sickness and the other she was fine with. So you just don't know. Um, and I was like saying to my friend, I was like, if I actually did like find out by some weird reason what new, like found, found, blah, 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 found out what we're having, I'd be gutted. I don't actually want to know as much as I keep guessing. I don't want to know. I want a surprise. Hence why I haven't found out. Like we haven't found out. But it was just funny. Like people have such like funny little stories to tell you in people like to tell you their experience and it's like totally normal and like lovely and so good to chat about but I don't think there's any correlation between I just feel like I'm having a boy because I've had more boy dreams that's not to say I think it's 100% because I just don't know I just think because I've had more boy dreams I think I'm having a boy it's weird um but I'll quickly get ready and I'm going to show you the bump update and I'm now 22 weeks this week um so just plodding on a lot of movement still i was a little bit worried last week because when i got home from holiday i didn't feel the baby as much but it was obviously because i was back to work and busy that i wasn't concentrating on it every second of the day because obviously on holiday i was just lay down chilling feeling every move um but then it's all good i felt loads of movement it's just obviously because i wasn't concentrating on it that i couldn't feel much but all is good um so yeah i'll get ready and i'll do a bump update this is the current bump update. Little baby in there. I just um, moisturised, hence why it's very wet looking. But yeah, little update. This is how the bump looks in like a jumpsuit. <laughs> Bumping, feeling good. welcome back to my second trimester vlog and it has 
felt like I haven't updated this vlog in so long and I think the second trimester, as much as it's going quick, like the pregnancy's going quick, the second trimester has felt quite long and I think because it has sorry, it hasn't felt long but I think because you don't go to, like, you only really go to your 20 week scan, I mean there is midwife appointments coming up in the second trimester but because you don't have much going on in terms of like appointments, it hasn't really felt like there's been much to film apart from little updates of how I've felt so that's why I feel like it's felt longer as much as it is going so quick the whole pregnancy um, but I thought I would just do a little update because today marks six months pregnant I was gonna say six months pregnancy six months pregnant and in weeks that's 24 weeks pregnant which is how you count your pregnancy and how your midwife does all the doctors everything um please excuse me so i work in weeks to count it but i'm aware that if you're not pregnant because before i was pregnant i used to think well what does 23 weeks mean what does 24 weeks mean so six months pregnant is 24 weeks that's kind of how you can put it in uh like real life terms i suppose and to be honest, I have been feeling like so good. I feel like I can't complain at all during the pregnancy because I've felt amazing. Um, a few things that have changed, I'd say, um, in the last sort of, from the last time I updated, I don't know whether I mentioned I do get quite a bit of heartburn, but I just think that's just a pregnancy symptom which probably won't go away now. Um, and... Obviously I'm feeling a lot of movement from my bump, which is just the nicest thing ever, like honestly. Um, I've actually seen the bump, <laughs> the bump, my tummy, move from like the outside now, which was just the other night, um, which was crazy and I actually caught it on film as well. Um, Jake's been feeling the baby a lot more because honestly the last sort of three, four nights, the baby has been going crazy inside of my tummy. I don't know what's going on. Um, but it's the nicest feeling and I honestly would hand on heart say that I think feeling the baby move is better than like any of the scans or anything because it's just the nicest feeling and honestly I do genuinely feel them all day now just like kicking around I don't know what they're doing in there but yes so cute um I'm trying to think really what else apart from honestly that not really much has changed me and Jake did pop to Asda yesterday and to buy a few little bits so I thought I would just show you what I got and um, basically my sister-in-law recommended Asda for just like the basics like vests body suits and stuff and I've seen quite a lot on TikTok about Asda so apparently they wash really well the things from there um so we've got a few bits I'll just quickly show you we've got some sleeveless body suits a pack of three which were three pound fifty just white obviously because you know I don't know the gender um and they're sleeveless, like I say, because obviously we're having a little June baby. I didn't really want to go for anything long sleeve for underneath outfits. Then we've got some short sleeve body suits. They're in the size 0 to 3, which is up to £12. And sorry, the um, sleeveless ones are first size, and that's up to £9. Then we've got another size of the little short sleeve ones in... Oh... Oh yeah, first size in them as well. So we've got first size and um, 0 to 3 in those from Asda. Again, 350. And then we've got a little pack with a tiny bit of, I mean, I say colour, it's very neutral. It's like a nude little triangle on there and a nude one and then a white. And that's in the, the colour, the um, size... 0 to 3 which is 12, up to £12 and they're short sleeved. I thought I'll just get a tiny little bit of neutral vibe going on. We also got five muslin squares which was £6 which I felt like an amazing sort of quality and stuff. They feel lovely. I wish I got another pack of them. Um, Jake actually made a really good point. He was like we should just buy everything in that sort of white well not that sort of white colour but in white because then you can just wash everything together and it makes washes very easy I was like that's very practical so I should have got another pack of them but I can at another date um and then we got some little scratch mitts with two which were two pound and they you get like four in there so four little sets and then last but not least we've got two little hats which were two pound so to be honest very cheap but very cheerful like cheap and cheerful I feel like um but I was thrilled with all of them and it obviously 
there's not loads of shops that have a lot of white so that's also why we went to Asda because my sister-in-law said there was a lot of white so there was um in terms of like actual outfits there wasn't really much in white there was sleep suits like for um obviously on top of the vests and stuff but I'd already got majority of sleep suits that I needed well not majority but I got a few different sizes from next in sleep suits so I don't really think I need any probably can't have enough but yeah I'll probably get some more at a later date um try to think what else I did make some notes on anything else I should talk about really because it's kind of hard to sometimes remember um let me just have a little look the only other thing that's on the list actually is to say that people have started to notice that I'm pregnant. I think when I went back to work from being away on holiday, that was the first time someone like that I don't know has like noticed and like asked me when I'm due and stuff, which was honestly such a nice feeling. And every time someone mentions like my tummy, like, oh, when are you due? I think, eh, do you know? Like, it's just so funny. Um, and yeah, I was just going to say as well, sorry that... Um, the memory card got full but being at work I have noticed when I've wore like my little ch little block heel which I always wear daily for work I sometimes get cramp on a night I've had it like three times in the night and it's awful like my leg goes into full-on cramp it's all like really horrible um, and I think that's just off wearing like a heel all day so I've started to wear boots more because I just think I don't want to do any damage to my legs and I need to obviously still be able to wear like obviously my work outfits with boots and stuff which is fine but I don't know the little heel for work maybe is a little bit much I think all day but I'm so used to it it's not it doesn't feel like much it's just when I then get home I might have like achy calves so I don't know um but yeah 24 weeks pregnant six months pregnant same thing um feeling really good I've had no more cravings I just feel like I eat a lot more at the minute um, which they do say not really meant to, but here we are. Um, but yeah, obviously I will still update for the next sort of three weeks. 25, 26 weeks. Yeah, three weeks because that's the last three weeks of the second trimester. And then I go into the third trimester, which is just wild. Oh, actually, that's another thing. This morning I booked the 4D scan. So I've booked it for... 28 weeks and one day so like i'll have just turned 28 weeks pregnant so like it's a month today basically the um 4d scan and i'm so excited for that because i feel like we'll get to see their little face and see what they look like kind of um jake says that's when he's going to take his guess of what we're having girl or a boy i've got really 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 strong boy feelings at the minute like i think i've probably said this because i have felt like this for a while um I'm pretty convinced we're having a boy. I think if Jake was to tell me when we'll have the baby that it's a girl, I will be beyond shocked. I think I'll probably like faint. I'll just be so shocked because I really am convinced we're having a boy. And it's really funny because as much as I'm convinced we're having a boy, I don't, I can't see the labour. Like I can't see what it is at the end of the labour, Is that if that makes sense. Like, I don't see us with a boy. I just have a feeling it's a boy. I don't know it's so strange um but then everyone's got mixed views like my parents both think we're having a girl um and everyone's got their own opinion going on and people like to tell me that I'm looking low which means you're carrying a boy for these old mid uh old wives tales um which I actually don't think there's any correlation to them old wives tales I just think it's all a load of shit if I'm honest <laughs> excuse my French um because I do I think everyone's body's different everyone's pregnancy is different and I just think the old wives tales are a load of shit but here we are um I still read into them myself and think oh maybe I'm having a boy because of this maybe I'm having a girl but yeah obviously we're not finding out and that's going to be the best surprise everyone's like how have you not found out but I just think it makes it so much more exciting and if someone by a miracle told me what we were actually having I'd be heartbroken because I don't want to know I want the surprise I want the surprise when I give birth just to be like Jake to tell me so yeah I don't want to know as much as I keep guessing I don't want to know I just have a strong feeling that it's a boy but we'll see only three months to go um but I will keep updating this vlog so I try and keep it as much up to date as I'm like as I can but really nothing has changed apart from I'm growing um I'll do a little bump update for you. This is my six month little bump.
actually i've just thought of something there and um, because i thought i was going to mention my boobs have obviously grown and my nipples have gone so dark this might be tmi but i'm gonna let you know because this is real the nipples have gone darker and also the other night jake by mistake elbowed me in the boob but like here and something actually leaked so the app does say, you know, like the pregnancy app, when I've been following along with that, it does say that can happen. So it's absolutely happening. <laughs> and it doesn't really faze me. I'm just like, oh, this is such a body change. But yeah, <sighs> the boobs are boobing, they're looking very big. The comfiest, comfiest bras are like my big sort of sports bras, which I've got on, like sports bras, but they are bras, if that makes sense. But yeah, leaky boobs, <laughs> growing bump. A little bit of heartburn apart from that. Like, you know what? I don't even care. Like, it's just, I'm having the best time. I'm literally obsessed with my body growing. I never thought that I would like it so much. Like, I just think it's crazy that your body's growing a little person. And it's crazy how much I actually love my body growing. Like, I've spent my whole life trying to be slim, skinny, gym, eat good. And I'm just like, this is the best time because you can just relax a little bit i have been trying to step uh, get the steps in like walk a lot because i just think in the last few weeks that's been my goal to try and walk more because i think walking's really good for you and you can't do any harm in trying to be good um i've not really been gymming so i thought if i just do some walks yesterday i did fifteen thousand steps and it felt good but yeah i just think there's nothing nicer than your body growing and just embrace it why not um actually in two weeks we're going to vegas that's kind of part of the reason for my walking a lot more recently because i think we will do a lot of walking when we're away so i don't want my body to go into shock mode when we get to vegas and it's a little bit hotter and i'm walking i think if i just build up slowly the next few weeks doing more walks it'll be better for when we're away and then obviously if i carry that on when i come home i think let's just walk this baby out positive mental attitude Positivity, positivity is the only way I think gotta be positive but I'm gonna leave it here I'm gonna update you in the next sort of few weeks with any changes or how I'm feeling but yeah six months pregnant I thought I would just do a little update because I'm currently 25 weeks pregnant and this week um nothing's really changed apart from i've grown a little bit more but i did just want to mention because basically we're going away next week to vegas and the airline that we're flying with is ba and they basically require that pregnant women have a fit to fly just to prove that you're like well fit enough to fly so i've had to um i contacted my doctors this week and actually spoke to my midwife last night and she got me in to do like my blood pressure temperature and a urine sample and she actually listened to the baby's heartbeat as well which was so nice um but she did me a fit to fly form so i've i got that all done last night and then she sent it over so i went and picked it up this morning so i've just had to fill out that and i mean i'm not sure how like um necessary that would be for many people and whether you'd fly this late or if you'd even flat go on holiday when pregnant i don't know but that was just something i've had to do this week just in my 25th week of pregnancy and it's basically because i'm sure that ba required the fit to fly from 26 weeks which is next week when we fly i'll be 26 weeks pregnant so i thought it was better just to have that and not have to have any stress of like oh, haven't got one so all good i also picked up some essentials for the plane yesterday like heat patches because i love having a hot water bottle just on like different parts of my body if the ache especially like my back and my shoulder um so i picked up some heat patches for the flight just in case i need them i got some gaviscon chewable tablets because i've been suffering a bit of heart with a bit of heartburn and i got some paracetamol just in case i needed them so i've kind of been stocking up on the pre-flight essentials in the 25th week um and it's actually friday so like literally in four days time i'm going to be 26 weeks and that's when we're going to vegas um but yeah maybe the next update will be from vegas and i'll be telling you how the flight was and everything um but yeah 25 weeks coming to the end of the second trimester which is crazy crazy
This is what 26 weeks pregnant looks like. <laughs> so we're in Vegas. As I said, I was coming to Vegas. Just thought I'd do a little bump update. <laughs> I feel like I've started to get the line that people talk about. You can't really see it much on the camera, I don't think, but yes. Here's my 26 week bump. Crazy. I thought I would just do a little 26 week update from Vegas. Um, so yesterday was Tuesday, which meant 26 weeks pregnant. Um, obviously we flew on like a long haul flight and the last long haul flight was back from our honeymoon and honestly I was so uncomfortable but I'd really prepared I had like Gaviscon tablets and thank god because I did have heartburn we had extra leg room the only thing I would say I need to do more on the way back is actually just to move and get up and walk around a little bit because I was a bit uncomfortable um, but that's all down to me um, but yeah we're in Vegas and gonna go and sunbathe and tan the bump but yeah, as I was saying, I've started to get that line along your tummy. Um, it's not that obvious. I also don't really mind. Um, but yeah, I've got some tan on, so I feel good. I've got my SPF 20 and 30, so I'm going to make sure I'm really creamed up and everything. But yeah, just thought I'd do a little update from Vegas and 26 weeks. Crazy, crazy 14 weeks left. It's nothing. So I'm going to leave this vlog here and I know it has been really long, but honestly, I've absolutely loved documenting the second trimester of my pregnancy. And I just think it's nice that I've got this to look back on. So whoever's watching, I really hope you've enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for watching. And of course, I will be filming the third trimester of pregnancy which will be up in a few months and obviously I'll have a baby at the end of it. But thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And of course, I will see you in my next video.